Welcome to St. Malachy's, the Actors' Chapel, for the solemnity of the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God. Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. As we prepare ourselves to enter into the sacred mysteries, let us pause to call to mind our sins. Forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting. created the dignity of human nature and still more wonderfully restored it. Grant, we pray, 
that we may share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Numbers. The Lord said to Moses, Speak to Aaron and his sons and tell them, This is how you shall bless the Israelites. Say to them, The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord let his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look kindly upon you and give you peace. So shall they invoke my name upon the Israelites, and I will bless them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Brothers and sisters, when the fullness of time had come, God sent his Son, born of a woman and born under the law, to ransom those under the law, so that we might receive adoption as sons. As proof of that you are sons, God sent the Spirit of his Son into our hearts, crying out, Abba, Father, so you are no longer a slave, but a son, and if a son, then also an heir through God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The shepherds went in haste to Bethlehem and found Mary and Joseph and the infant lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known the message that had been told them about this child. All who heard it were amazed by what had been told them by the shepherds, and Mary kept all these things reflecting on them in her heart. 
Then the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, just as it had been told to them. When eight days were completed for his circumcision, he was named Jesus, the name given him by the angel, before he was conceived in the womb. The Gospel of the Lord. A healthy and a happy new year to all from all of us at St. Malachi's The Actors' Chapel. The year that indeed we are coming from has changed us in many ways, left us with tremendous things to think about, to talk about, and still left us with obstacles in our life to deal with. But we go forward into a new year, and how appropriate on this day that we would call upon the intercession of the Blessed Mother to intercede for us as we keep holy the solemnity of the Blessed Virgin Mary. But also how beautiful that we hear in the first reading that marvelous blessing that's been given as a gift to generation upon generation. It's a blessing, obviously, from the Old Testament that allows us to experience a great unity, a great sense of, of peace before our God. It's a blessing that we've used many times when we've done interfaith prayer services as well as ecumenical services bringing together different denominations, but also different faith traditions, who still hear in the Book of Numbers the richness of that blessing. That he bless us and keep us. That he make his face to shine upon us and be gracious unto us. And that he lift up his countenance upon us and fill us with peace. The shepherds arrived at the manger and saw everything as it had been promised. And indeed, the beauty of the day is that when they arrived, they gazed upon this countenance that for ages and ages had in turn gazed upon humankind. They were able in that moment to look and to find God in the midst of what had to be utter chaos. They were going purely on a faith journey. They were putting everything that they believed, everything they had into being there so that they could find out what is this great revelation that is to happen. And they weren't disappointed. Their eyes were opened and they made their way back glorifying God that all that had been promised would be made true. All that God promises for us will be made true. We go into a new year and we can only go in with one determination, that we will allow hope to spring eternal every day of this new year that we share together. If we go in with less than a hopeful, outlook, attitude, approach to life. We're setting ourselves up to be vastly disappointed, to find ourselves upset that it's no better than the year before. But trusting in God's plan, trusting in his leading us to a place of uncertainty, trusting that he has never ever forsaken his promise for our salvation, we hope and we go and we spring eternal with that virtue so that what we believe and what we do may indeed be what allows us to grow, grow to overcome our fears, grow to be strong enough to meet the challenges, the obstacles, grow to be wise enough to allow others into our lives to help us, to grow, to heal, physically, spiritually, emotionally, in all the ways that perhaps we haven't felt before, but we want to feel in hope for the glory of a new year. 
May that blessing be upon you, upon all of us, as we allow hope to spring eternal in our lives. Let us profess the faith that unites us. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. With joy and hope, let us bring our prayers and petitions to our God, who is King. For Pope Francis, may God continue to bless him with vitality as he shepherds his flock, the Church. Let us pray to the Lord. For all those who feel lonely this Christmas season, May Jesus bring them comfort. Let us pray to the Lord. For all families gathered today, as we seek to emulate the model of the Holy Family of Nazareth, let us pray to the Lord. Lord May they rejoice in heaven with the risen Christ and all the angels and saints. Let us pray to the Lord. Father of love and mercy, in your goodness you sent us your Son, whose birth we celebrate today. We ask that you hear and answer these prayers. Through Christ our
Pray, my friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands to the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all this holy church. Let us pray. O Lord, make acceptable our oblation on this solemn day when you manifested the reconciliation that makes us wholly pleasing in your sight and inaugurated for us the fullness of divine worship through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For through him, the holy exchange that restores our life has shone forth today in splendor. When our frailty is assumed by your word, not only does human mortality receive unending honor, but by this wondrous union, we too are made eternal. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy, we proclaim. and entered willingly into the passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring unto the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Timothy, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, Saints Malachi and Genesius, Cecilia and Vitus, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and praise and glorify you through your Son. Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor are yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 With longing for the coming 
coming of God's kingdom, we pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you in my soul, since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally. Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. O merciful God, grant that just as the Savior of the world, born this day, is the author of divine generation for us, so he may, he may be the giver of even greater immortality, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. And now, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and fill you with his peace. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain with you and your loved ones forever and ever. The Mass is ended. Go in peace.
Oh, 